We are now going to look at our third method of error detection, a cyclic redundancy test, otherwise known as a CRC. So with a CRC, we make use of a division method similar to checksum for calculating errors in data. The only difference is the way we come up with our initial number is different to that of a checksum. So CRC has common standards such as CRC 16 and CRC 32, among other standards. Okay, a CRC32 has a 99.99 error detection success rate. CRC is commonly used on Ethernet and ATM transmissions, and like checksums, they have their value sent in the header or footer of a message. So now let's take a look at an example. We're going to send six packets of data, okay, and the CRC will be sent along with it. So here are our six packets in binary form. Now, unlike a checksum, we are not going to add each individual packet together. Instead, we're going to combine them into one big packet, okay? one giant binary digit, which gives us one giant decimal number. Now, the number we divide this with is also different. We come up with what is known as a generator polynomial. And the one rule with this number is it can be any number I want, but it has to be one bit longer in length than the packets I am sending. So these packets that I'm sending are 8-bit packets, as you can see with the larger packets on the end. So my generator polynomial has to be 9 bits in length in this situation for it to satisfy that rule. So the number I have here is 453. I'm going to do my division, and I come up with this quite large number here. I'm going to then times that by 600, uh, 453 without the actual everything after the decimal point, which gives me another large number. I'm going to subtract this from my initial value, and that gives me 79. Okay, 79, I'm going to turn it into binary, and there is my CRC. So what we've got to understand here is it operates very similar to checksum, except the way I come up with my initial value is different. I'm instead combining all the binary together to make one large number. And I have to also come up with a generator polynomial that is one bit length larger than all my packets and divide that by my new value. Okay? This number then will be sent along to the receiver. They will do their calculation and they'll, they'll be deemed correct as long as the number is the same. You can also apply reverse bits as well to a CRC, just like with a checksum for further and better error detection. Okay, but otherwise, this is the best method of error detection out of the three we have studied.